everyone, I'm Jonas. And I'm Lewis. And welcome back to JL Pokemon News. News. Sadly, today we are not all dressed up in attire, but that's alright. We'll, uh,. We we we'll, realized the first couple we'll times aside. the first couple times was fun, but now we're moving on. We'll get the editor to edit suits on us for like maybe a couple seconds. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to get our video. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Jam Scorpion Game and that is right. And, and the Tiger Ticks the Ticker the Talks. Also, 200 subscriber giveaway, go back to last week's Cards yeah. of the Week, which was a binder review. Right. And uh, enter there for uh, for to win three packs of Vlogging Skies mm -hmm. and t-shirt. Yeah. So comment big 200 down below on that video. Uh, big might be an eye card, might be an eye card, but uh, the Legend New Year giveaway. Um, check out our video on that, and then check out everyone else's videos and follow the rules. I'm not, I don't remember the rules, but you know, do that. So yeah, we have a bunch of news. I mean, a lot of stuff has been announced recently, actually. So this is really exciting, super cool. So how about we get right into this? Catch you guys in a second. So the first thing is the p new Pokemon movie, The Secrets of the Jungle, on Netflix. You guys can watch it for yourself. I've personally watched it myself, and I thought it was a pretty interesting movie. It's about this cool, it's about this really cool person who speaks in the Zarud language. So it's tr it's kind of hard for them to communicate, and then Ash like appears, you know, he comes by, and he's just like he's yeah. part, he's part of the story. <clears throat> Allow me to explain, or you can do it as well. I'll do it. A new bond forms between people and Pokemon. Deep in the jungle, far from any human settlement, you'll find the forest of Okioa. Or Okioa. Okioa. Oki. Okioa. Oki. Okioa. Okioa. Deep. Okioa. Uh, deep in the jungle, forbidden to outsiders. Is this jungle? Uh, in this jungle lives Coco. A human boy who has been raised as a Pokemon by the mythical Pokemon Zarude. Coco has grown up never doubting that he is a Pokemon, but one day a chance meeting with Ash and Pikachu leaves Coco with his first human friend. He is truly is he truly a Pokemon or is he in fact a human? A human. So honestly I watched the movie and I thought it was really good, so you guys should check it out yourself. And yeah, so how are we getting to the next thing? Uh, what does it say? Oh, watch the venture unfold, then add oh, yeah. your own data. Yeah, data. Sorry, like, that's that's like that's the that's Coco's dad. Dad's rude. Oh. Ah, yeah. Okay, so if you want uh, uh Coco's data's a rude and shiny Celebi in the games. Mm -hmm. So if you want a shiny Celebi, check that out. I don't know what that is, but yeah. I guess there's something on the Pokemon website or something. Mm -hmm. so that's cool. Okay. Next one is the new 25th anniversary Pokemon album, music album that is record as Anthony Haven't Fantana watched it yet. Has. Still haven't watched, listened to it yet. Yeah, let's yeah. It. So, uh, got, this is an, it's actually really interesting. So, a new 25th anniversary album has been released with 14 songs with artists such as Katy Perry, Post Malone, and more. So, that is super awesome. The album is available for digital download and a CD is available. Ah. So, I don't know if they're going to release final. If they do release final, we'll, we'll tell you if yeah. that ever gets announced. Yeah. One of the tracks by J Balvin titled Ten Cuidado in Spanish has a music video that is now available to watch on YouTube. So, we'll leave a link to that in the description mm -hmm. if you want to check that out. So, Post Malone, Only Wanna Be With You is the song he, I'm pretty sure, is on that, and which is actually a cover of someone else's song called also I Wanna Be, uh, Only Wanna Be With You. I don't know what the name of that guy is, but you know, you have Post Malone being all cowboy. So, that's really cool. And you have like the weird Pokemon sounds in the background. It's a good song. I actually have it downloaded. Pretty good song. Um, we'll get the we'll get the actual person who made it now in a second. So how about you move on to uh, the next topic? All right, guys. The next thing is the Pokemon Championship return. It's making a grand return. Yep. So starting in March 2022. Starting in March 22, uh, we'll have regionals. We'll have nationals. We'll have international worlds. All Doesn't that say stuff. we're the they're worlds in London. Baby, London. in the land of Britain. Boa. T. Viscuit. We're gonna get, I bet you the mascot is gonna be a Pikachu, and he's gonna be all dappered out. He's gonna have a top hat, he's gonna have a monocle, and he's gonna be sipping tea, and he's gonna be in a suit. That's that's gonna be the, the that better be 
Or it's or it's the female Pikachu ah. dressed up as all regal and stuff. All ah. regal. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be yeah, cool. That'd be sick. So if I'm if my predictions are right, let's go. Yeah. That'd be kinda cool. So most smaller tournaments, uh, you won't need to uh, require uh, advanced registration, so that's okay. Uh, all you need to do is show up with a valid Pokemon TCG Most likely, deck, most likely need system. to be double vaccinated for the coronavirus. Okay, and obviously uh, regionals and all the other stuff require uh, registration uh, pre uh, beforehand. So, uh, yeah, tournaments and stuff, if you're excited about that, mm -hmm. um, good for you because tournaments are coming back. Speaking of which... Um, as you heard, we were talking about the Fusion Strike pre-release this weekend. Sadly, that has been pushed. Yeah, unfortunately, that has been pushed. To my birthday! It is on ah. my birthday. So, that Woo. is exciting. Arr. Um, it was pushed, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, it was pushed to a later date because of shipping errors, which we actually were talking about before. Um, in a previous Pokemon news, where we were talking about how Pokemon may, uh, the shipping stuff, they might slow down and stuff. So sadly, um, it will be pushed to next week. Which is fine by me, because that means it will be on my birthday. Okay, so that is talking about the Fusion Strike and all that stuff and how it's been delayed. I don't know if it's delayed in the all parts, I don't know if it's delayed in the US and stuff. So where we are, it is delayed, so that's kind of sad. But we will get into that next week. So we don't even know what we're doing this week for this video, so stay tuned. We'll probably just find someone in Midgar. Maybe do something Halloween themed, not 100% sure. Sure, but I'm excited. Moving on, Jonas, what is the next topic? Um, the uh, new eight uh, episode series Pokemon Evolutions. Uh, oh, but actually, um, it is a show that people I've heard of that people say that is not really aimed towards the younger audience. It is something that is aimed towards like the the older teenagers and of stuff course. of who play Pokemon and who like Pokemon. So I heard that was a sh like a show more aimed towards the older audience, which is super exciting. And I know a lot of people wanted that from Pokemon, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm super happy Pokemon has done this. Mm -hmm. So it is on the channel, on the YouTube channel, Pokemon YouTube channel, and it is in celebration of 25 years, obviously. Um, so when does it come out? Um, the, so the eight stories were, um, revolve around eight different trainers, which is super exciting. It goes, it starts in the gallery region, then works its way back to Kanto. So that is ah. super exciting and super awesome. I might watch that myself, actually, because I'm looking for something to watch. I ran yeah. out of shows to watch. How much you bet that Ash is going to be one of them? Ash is not actually one of them. I really? Don't think so. No, because it is focused on the actual gameplay part of Pokemon. So that is exciting. That is super cool. So how about you move on to the next topic? And the next thing is the Pokemon Super Pet Contest. We actually might enter this. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, they, um, they have launched a new photo uh, contest for your pet. It's pretty cool, so you guys should enter. Now, the way you enter um, is... So you, you submit one of three categories, uh, clever, cool, and cute, which is very interesting and super yeah, awesome. Yeah. And, uh, so, and then you get to vote and uh, help your pet rise to the top. And photo with the most uh, votes will get a chance to be featured on the Pokemon social channel. So I'm uh, guessing, you know, they'll make a YouTube video or something on Maybe it. Maybe Penny will or, be you know, in it. Maybe Penny yeah, will be in it. Uh, there'll probably be an Instagram post and a Twitter post about who won. So if you were looking for some clout, go ahead and try to win that with your yeah. super cute uh, animals. I would like to see a snake with as Ekans. That would be cool. Yes! That would be really cool. What should we do, Penny? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> Furfur. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's super awesome. Deadline is November 9th, and you can uh, pre-order Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. So <laughs> if you want to do that. Also, that reminds me of pre-ordering. I pre-ordered Luigi's Mansion about three years ago, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, and I got it the day it came out. So I didn't have to worry about it being sold out or anything like that. So super exciting. Um, and so finally, moving on to the last one, we have V-Stars. And V-Stars are these new form of Vs, which are actually replacing V-Maxes. And so basically what they are is they're uh, like a mixture between Vs and GXs. I wouldn't say Vs and uh, uh, GXs and VMAXs, more of Vs and GXs. So, um, so speaking of that, it has a special ability called a V Power, which uh, can only be used once per game, which is very similar to GXs. And so basically it evolves from your V, right? So you have the, the one that got revealed was Arceus V and V, uh, v, v Star. So you have Arceus V and then you evolve Arceus V into V Star and um, that's basically what it is like. So it's very similar to VMAXs, very similar to GXs, except you do only take two prizes for knocking out a V star, which is actually better. It's more of balancing out the game, making it a bit, you know, harder will, to win. 
You still be able to use V maxes. Yes, you will. Okay. But okay. after they get rotated out, you won't be able to use them in the stand. So I think this is a good thing for Pokemon, how they're dumbing down the Pokemon a bit. Not really dumbing them down, but you know what I mean. You know, lowering the HP, lowering the amount of prize cards you take. I think that's a good idea for Pokemon to do because it the game has just gotten a really, really overpowered and mega basically. Not yeah. but even megas are weaker than V Stars. Yeah. So, I like how they're lowering the HP, and I like how they're uh, decreasing the prize cards. But I'm guessing Arceus V-Star is like one of the highest HP uh, V-Stars, so I'm guessing we're gonna get some 250 HP, 260 HP V-Stars as well. So, that is pretty much it. Yeah, thank, thank you guys so much for watching, we 100% enjoy being in We hope you guys enjoyed watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, thing like it, you know Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Jalen Scorpio Game and, and the Tari Ticks the TikToks. So make sure to follow us in there. Yeah, we and do the giveaway. Our most recent videos got over a thousand views. Yeah, and do so, the giveaway. Yeah, we will catch you guys in the next video, which is an opening. Which is an opening. Also, make sure to enter all the giveaways that we have going on. Well, the, the Legends giveaway. New Year and uh, yeah. the uh, 200 subscribers. That's so make sure to check that stuff out. Nice. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. So.